It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. The show is 5.45 Live. Joe, uh, customarily you tell folks what's up on deck, uh, but today uh, I don't have a, a script for you, so I know that Mike Merwicki was here with Jeanette White in uh, our downtown studios as part of a brand new program. Uh, we'll get a look at that. The Governor Shumlin's uh, got a new initiative, plenty of stuff, including some floppy fish on a reformer roundup, all that and more. We do it in 15 minutes, or maybe we can get you out in less today to head on out and enjoy the weekend, all that and more. It's 545 Live. Stick with us. Welcome back to this Friday, the 13th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. I think it's back on. I think I just put it back on there. It's definitely not using BCTV's new green screen. We were managing to actually figure out how to do some head detaching. All right, welcome back to 545 Live. Joe, uh, why don't we start with the Reformer Roundup where we break down the stories. We do a one or two sentence summary, but if you want more, you got to head to reformer.com. Don't even need the Brattleboro or pick up a paper or subscription or smartphone app. That's the speech on that one. Gives me time yes. to load up the Reformer memory for you, Joe, where it uh, flashes over your head there. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you've got go. the script. Go for it. All right, the salmon. The federal government is putting an end to the nearly half-century program that aimed to restore Atlantic salmon in the Connecticut River Basin. Officials say that the program, which has stocked about 100 million salmon in tributaries across western New England, is not working well enough to justify the continued cost. Next up, skate park bids. Brattleboro has opened five bids from national firms that wish to design the 10,000 square foot skate park that is planned to be built in the Kroll Park, located on the corner of Western Avenue and Union Street. The bids range from $8,900 to $38,575, and a committee will meet on July 19th to take a closer look at the designs. Then, the Duck Derby. The annual Duck Derby will be coming soon to flood the Living Memorial Park swimming pool with rubber duckies as the Brattleboro Boys and Girls Club and the Brattleboro Recreation and Parks Department aim to raise funds. That's the uh, Reformer Roundup there. Let's get Ooh, out of this Wait a minute. We got a little bit here with Governor Shumlin, too. Governor yeah. Shumlin announces a jobs initiative to create brighter jobs future for the Green Mountain State, which is uh, something we all look forward to, for sure. Yeah, let's take a, uh, a look at that clip here. We've made a lot of progress on the jobs front since I became governor. And as you know, we've been focusing on it like a laser. But here's the good news. We moved our employment rate that was way too high during the worst recession in American history from roughly 8% down to 6, sorry, 4.6%. Governor Shumlin, uh, that's courtesy of his YouTube channel. We get uh, plenty of stuff fed to us through that. Um, we do. And, uh, but listeners out there, if you want the, uh, the complete pieces of that, more than just 30 seconds, you, sen you can subscribe as well. It's VT Governor. That's on YouTube. Uh, Bernie Sanders, Senator Sanders, as we often get him fed in there as well. Next, I promised a little Mike Merwicki. He's uh, extending his Montpelier connection which is the webcast that he does from the state house during the legislative session to keep folks in Wyndham County updated he's extending that into an off-season edition where he'll bring in legislators to talk about things that have got uh, in the pipeline for this coming session he had uh, Senate hopeful Jeanette White in here uh, at the last uh, session which kicked off this week we're gonna be showing that all next week on BC TV channel 10 and he'll continue to do those programs all in our brand new HD studio which means they'll go up online in HD as well that's enough chit chat for me let's take a look at the clip your ideas can become laws mm -hmm. and several years ago it started with a sixth grade class who wanted to do something to help with global warming so they started a bill that would uh, would prevent school buses from idling oh, while right, they're at right, schools right. and it became law and what I tell school children and, and anybody is if you have an idea be in touch with us. Mike Merwicki on this 545 Live edition uh, we're gonna wrap up and get you out of here early for the weekend which I'm most excited for when we have a, uh, a high-powered brief show. Uh, thanks to everybody that makes 545 Live tick the way it does uh, including Frederick Noyes who is not the one in the cloak chopping my head off but uh, still had uh, a large role in today's show. Uh, wave goodbye, Joe. We're out of here. Come on out to the Little League field tomorrow, 4 o'clock. Watch Brattleboro Little League All-Stars win another one. Night, everybody.